welcome back to Maylaween. Today is day 25 and today's design is Haunted House. So for today's design, the base is going to be a gradient. I am using Fluid Secret Project Robot. I am using Zoya in the shade Lois and this other Shoya, Shoya, Zoya shade in the, Zoya polish in the shade Pippa. Oh my God. And for black, I'm just using Born Pretty Store Black Stamping Polish. So the gradient is going to be black, blue, purple, yellow, black. So I'm going to add those colors onto this makeup sponge wedge. I do spray a little bit of water so it could be damped a little bit so it could sponge onto the nail better. Once I'm done adding that polish to the sponge, I begin to dab dab on the nails and I try to do only two times so the polish won't come off. So now I'm going to go ahead and do another second layer. So as I'm adding the polish onto the sponge, the nails will be drying a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead, add the polish and dab dab again for a second layer. And that is pretty much it for the gradient. I only do two layers. So on top of the gradient, I want to add this beautiful sparkle polish. It's a clear base with iridescent hexes. This is in the shade Monet from Zoya. So I'm going to add only one thin layer to all of the nails. The first stamping plate I'll be using is BBB002 and this is from Beauty Big Bang and it's new. As you can see, I'm removing the blue film. I got this off AliExpress for a couple of cents when they were having a big sale. So the image I want to use from this plate is of course of the haunted house. I am using Born Pretty Store Black Stampy Polish and my Beauty Big Bang Clear Rectangle Stamper. So add the polish, scrape at a 45 degree angle and roll over the stamper and it picked up nicely. I love this stamper and stamping polish. It's my two favorites, my go-tos. So I'm going to fill in where the windows are at in that Pippa shade from Zoya. So I'm going to let this dry for a good minute so the yellow polish will be good enough to stamp and then afterwards I stamp it onto my middle fingernail and this is how it came out. came out super pretty and good. So now I'm going to move on to the other nails. So using that same plate but I'm getting this corner that has a picket fence with a ghost. I'm going to stamp that image to my other nail. I'm going to fill in the ghost with white snapping polish from Born Pretty Store because I don't want the ghost to be empty, you know. So I'm filling it in with white and I'm going to let that dry for a good minute before I stamp it onto the nail. And for the last nail, I'll be using Beauty Big Bang 03. This is another Halloween plate. I got this from them to review like last year, I think. So yeah, I'm using that image of that haunted house with a flying bat in the background. So again, I will use Zoya Pippa to shade in the windows and the door.
going back to bbb002 i'm going to use those images of those flying ghosts to add on to all of the nails because they were looking kind of empty in the top area by the cuticle so yeah and as you can see the eyes and the nose no not the nose the eyes and the mouth didn't come out good so all i get is my dotting tool and some black acrylic paint and i draw the two dots for the eyes and then like a long oval shape for the mouth And here is the finished look. I did add a rhinestone to the center of that cobweb where the haunted house and the middle fingernail. So I hope you guys enjoyed this design. I like how the Monet glitters shine through the background. It looks like stars twinkling in the night. So I will see you guys tomorrow for day 26. Bye.